3 ai for giving me this time and opportunity to present before my uh, version of the art of possible with ai so uh, i've been an auditor all my life and uh, one of the concepts which intrigued me throughout my career is the concept of bankruptcy so corporate bankruptcy have been causing economic social political disturbance recently from time to time immemorial for a lot of lot of period of time so is there is there an opportunity for auditors ai professional financial institutions to to spot bankruptcy early on which will uh, which will uh, kind of save a lot of jobs you can you can make sure that the economy is intact and which will particularly enable early early, early kind of interventions so what I, I would like to present uh, one of my latest research topics, which talks about uh, the use of AI to predict early bankruptcy. So early early bankruptcy, which means uh, which will are the symptoms which is existing in financial information or any other corporate information, which can enable board members, CEOs, investors, bankers to anticipate a business disaster coming their way. So are the visibility of bankruptcy uh, possible in early stages, say, for example, two to three years earlier to its actual occurrence? And the answer is yes. So one of the projects which we did, we collected the data for about, you know, about a thousand companies over a period of 10 years who are, who are bankrupt and about normal companies which are not bankrupt over a period of time. So we collected a lot of data set which which uh, which primarily with financial ratios information. So we collected a lot of structured information. First dimension of predicting bankruptcy using the structured information. So every quarter, financial institute, uh, the corporates have to report on the financial ratios. Financial ratios reflect the health of an organization, which I will take you through in the next following slide. The second type of intervention, what we did is basically the unstructured information, which is a much larger and much more uh, prominent in terms of the use of AI. The data lake architecture, which came in very handy for us to mine the insights in terms of how do we predict bankruptcy earlier on. The first dimension, as I said before, is the structured information. So, so financial ratios, as I said, is a representation of a company's state of affairs. So one of the methods we use is anomaly detection techniques. Uh, wherein we use the correlation methods, one to many, many to one correlations, where we try to interpret in terms of are there combination of ratios from this data set of bankrupt and non-bankrupt companies, as we took for a period of 10 years information, are they showing any signs of kind of normality, abnormality? So we use the Python outlier detection techniques, autoencoders, auto, 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 auto encoders uses neural network architecture, which condenses the latent information of all of this financial ratio and re recreates the entire information. So using autoencoders, when there's a multi-dimensional space, when you have 40 financial ratio, there are 40 factorial in which by which you can make, make the ratios represented, different combination of ratio. So the combination of ratios trying to reveal certain ratios are not in normality. So that will that will enable early intervention. The second aspect in terms of supervising the whole machine learning in terms of the X to Y variability, where we would try to label the data set, which is about two to three years. The, the, the labeling of data set happened in terms of the year of bankruptcy, along with the earlier years of bankruptcy, which we want to understand, is there a, an indication of bankruptcy shown much before its actual occurrence? So we use the, uh, the, the Azure cloud to tune those parameters of AXG views, because if you have to tune by yourself in terms of weights and biases and gradient descents, it takes a lot of time. And using the cloud and AI functionality within the cloud, you're able to get the right parameters for, for, for my FM algorithms. So what is, what is the use of knowing I'm having a model which can predict the probability of a certain company going bankrupt or non-bankrupt? The third facet fast, uh, came in terms of can I explain the particular model in terms of why it is happening in a certain manner? That's where explainability happens. That is where the early intervention can happen. Is it because of profitability? Is it because of efficiency? Is it utilization? So if it's going to be a working capital issue, so it gave very specific, uh, specific 
items or parameters which is showing as to why a company is getting bankrupt using the model of LXAI. So these are the structured information. Unfortunately, unfortunately, what happens is that a lot of information don't get reported and the misrepresentation, maybe delayed representation. So uh, this is where the unstructured information comes into place. If I can say 20% information comes from structured data and 80% comes from unstructured data. The transformer, the BERT, FinBERT and GBT came in very, very handy in terms of crunching the whole information from the Spark cluster. We use the Azure data, data, data BIX cluster. We're able to ingest information from various type of data sources, the Twitter information, the, the, the investors at uh, SNP. We're able to invest a lot of these, these the, the information about the companies in terms of financial sentiments, in terms of ESG reporting, looking forward statements. And that was able to, we are able to spot the financial sentiments which are actually negative in nature. With use of compute, with use of uh, large scale computers available on the cloud, we're able to compute in terms of what were the sentiments showing, what were the forward looking statements or, or not so forward looking statements using graph neural network, they're able to find uh, mis, uh, mis, misreporting the organization, why the financial reporting information says something, the actual information says something else entirely. So these are possible through NLP transformers and FinBert and GPT-3. So if you look at GPT-3 has got ability to condense information. It can give you an abstract of the whole issue instead of breaching thousands and thousands of materials. GPT-3 has got an ability to condense information, give you the extract of the whole information. And with that extract, we can predict whether are there any particular, particular intimation of a company getting bankrupt. Are there information the company is hiding in terms of which can possibly mean the company is getting to for the bankruptcy. So how do you orchestrate the whole thing? There is a supervised, unsupervised machine learning methods. There is hyperparameter tuning, the auto auto, auto is in terms of the overall AI stack. Then some of the natural language processing stack, I have FinBert, BERT, I have a GPT-3, Hort, I have a, a lot of them. So how do we orchestrate the whole thing? That's where the, the, the cloud the data architecture is coming into place. With one stream, I can I can structure all the un unstructured information to Azure event, Azure data bricks, Azure machine learning in terms of I can have the an analysis in terms of and having alerts in terms of if there are any negative sentiment in terms of bankruptcy. The second stream in terms of structured information, uh, Azure data factory, where I can pull information from various type of uh, SEBI, S SEBI uh, SMP data sources using Azure data, data like Gen, Gen 2 will enable us to share the whole information in terms of structure and unstructured information and get meaningful results. So imagine the, the, the use of all of these infrastructure has made AI even more accessible to people. So imagine if you're going to have a bank or a finance institution or a board of directors have this kind of a, a stack in the, in, the, in the analysis wing, this can prevent our organization from getting bankrupt or, or give an indication that some company is getting to bankrupt, which requires early intervention. So I would like to thank 3AI for giving me this opportunity uh, to present my version of the art of author with AI and with preventing bankruptcy, with enabling early intervention bankruptcy, a lot of things can be done in the future. Thank you so much.